right, Summer. So in this episode, I'll be analyzing Caleb Dressel's 100 meter fly, where he wins gold and also sets a new world record for a time of 49.45 seconds. All right, so the key highlights that I'll be going through is his release and entry at the finish of the stroke cycle, as well as his press down from his chest and his body alignment attached to his kick. So those are the three main points I'm gonna be going through. However, the two things that happened in this race is that he overshot the turn, ended up gliding a little too long, as well as the finish, he ended up having a double kick because he overshot that as well. But besides all that, he was still able to grab gold with a time of 49.45 seconds. All right, swimmers, let's get to the video. All right, so this is after his start, we had an incredible reaction time, which really helped with this race. But as I slow it down, I'm gonna point out his very first stroke where he really keeps his head low and he releases his arms fully out of the water. You can see here when he takes his breath is he takes it really low at the surface of the water and keeps it quick. This way it helps his body alignment stay as close to the surface as possible. You can also see in this freeze frame that happens in just a moment, his entry, his arms are shoulder width apart right before he fully extends under the surface of the water. All right, so here are the strokes leading up to that turn. And I point these out because in this freeze frame here, you see really good alignment where he presses his chest fully down and you see how high his hips are up because it creates that wave. And that's one of the key points I want to break down. Due to that, you see his alignment at this point as he's taking a breath is completely linear and he's staying on the surface of the water with that powerful kick, which will propel him into the next stroke as you will see in just a moment. Right there, full press with his chest down. Of course, he overshot that wall, but highlighting this point of his stroke where he presses his chest down and uses that as forward momentum in the correct direction is what's helping him keep and maintain his speed throughout this entire race. So even though he overshot the wall, once he pushes off, he has an incredible streamline that gets him back on track, especially when he breaks free for that first stroke. So you see again, an excellent underwater. He keeps his head completely straight and uses his hips to propel himself forward. As you see in this freeze frame, again, he is pressing his chest down. This is just from a closer view, going through that exact point that I explained earlier, which has helped propel his momentum forward and keeping his body alignment on the surface of the water as much as possible. All right, so here's the finish of his race where he actually keeps his head down on those final two strokes, even though he overshot the wall at the end. But as he kept his head low and nice release and threw his arms forward and pressed his chest down to glide in was enough for him to win gold for this event. So again, you can see underwater that final two strokes as he just keeps as low as possible. And you see right here again, that freeze frame incredible alignment, pressing his chest down, working in the water, staying as fluid as possible, and ultimately winning gold. All right, Summers, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it on social, and if you're looking for more content specifically on this point of butterfly, click the top right-hand corner as I have a video to help with your swim practice. All right, Summers, enjoy your training, and I will see you all next week.